Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing more Super Metroid. We have defeated the scripted boss, we have defeated all five mini-bosses, and we have defeated four out of five major bosses. All that's left to do is do a little bit of cleanup and go to the end of the game. I don't know how much stuff we're missing, but I think I can think of like seven things off the top of my head. Hopefully that's all there is. So yeah, uh, one of which is in Criteria, and the rest is in Brinstar. So we can just uh, uh, space jump our way through here. Not a problem, we just want to get out of Norfair, because I'm pretty sure we have everything here. Getting that super missile, though. So that should be our last visit to Norfair. We had our last visit to the wrecked ship a long time ago, our last visit to the space colony a long time ago. This should be our last visit to Meridia here. And now only three of the seven areas are left once I go through this door. So we're starting off with Brinstar, as you would expect, because it's the closest one here. Uh, it's just a normal missile. I don't need that. Okay, so first of all, we want to go the wrong way through that one-way door. Because we can now that we have the wave beam. Oh, I gotta run through here first, though. Now we go through the one-way door. And we're back into this territory. Wonderful. Now where is all the stuff I need? Some of it is in the Metroid 1 Brinstar, but a lot of it is over to the left here, not too far away. So the first thing is right down here. Now that we have both the speed booster and the gravity suit, we will be able to get through what's down here. So if we just uh, get rid of some of these enemies and take a run for it, We blast through all of that and get an energy tank, only one left to get. And, uh, sorry I bumped the mic there a bit, but we've got the, we got a little shine spark there ready for no reason. Also, if you ever hear any noises, like you may have heard in some of the recent videos, uh, it might just be me adjusting my headphones because for some reason they've been hurting lately. They used to do that a lot, but they haven't in a while. But they are again, and I don't know why, and it sucks, but whatever. Anyways, up here. We never went through here before because we didn't have the wave beam at the time. Ooh, I thought you could break through that. Anyways, unlocked door. What is behind here? It's another it's the other energy tank. Whoop-de-doo, we got them all. 
I'm a little suspicious of this room, honestly, though. But I don't think there's anything else here. Pretty sure. I'll just give it a power bomb to be safe. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So now there should be about five things left. Now that we got our two energy tanks. Uh, I know one of the five things I can think of is right over here. We were supposed to use grapple to get here, but we've got the space jump now. I guess we're coming here a little late. And there's even more to find over this way. With the power bomb. See the little black spot in the wall there? We can go through there. Sort of. I mean, we can go through the wall at least. That's the important part. And the door is locked. Whatever. Oh, it's not locked anymore. Well, there's still something to do in here, of course. It wouldn't just be an empty room for nothing. We can use our super missile and get through to this power bomb tank. Okay. So that should be just three things left to get. That is, of course, again, if I'm right about what we actually need and what we don't. So now we want to head back down here. Because we're going to go back to Metroid 1 Brinstar. Right up here. Oh boy. Get out of here. Oh, that's not the power bomb section yet. This is the power bomb section. Now, we're gonna need to use power bombs, speed booster, gravity suit, and x ray visor for this. So, yeah, you need a lot. First of all, power bomb, but you saw this already. And then speed booster, but you saw this already too. Yeah, you also gotta know how to use the shine spark. You can't just have speed booster. So yeah, that's like five requirements there. Not including all the requirements you need to meet those requirements. <laughs> but now, uh, if we use our x-ray scope, we can see that there is an invisible pathway up there that we can only reach if we have uh, the gravity suit. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to jump that high. Oh yeah, that's right. There's two things in here. I forgot about that for a second, but... So yeah, there should still be two things left after this, I think. Or no, maybe there's just one. Ugh, I'm having a hard time remembering. I'm really having a hard time remembering. I think there's only one left. Oh, I don't know. But... Either way, it doesn't matter. We'll get all the stuff. I know what our totals should be at the end, so... As long as I don't, like, progress through the game until everything is at what it should be, then everything should be fine, and it shouldn't be too hard to check, because the last thing I plan on going to is, like, right by our ship. I really feel like I'm forgetting something, but... 
I don't know. I, I'm probably just being a little bit paranoid, because I'm sure it's fine. Also, uh, you know what, never mind, I won't mention that. Just remember the pathway to the right of this place on the map. I kind of want to test something out, but I don't think I will. Just because I think it's better to do things the way I normally do. Alright. We should be just about back to our ship now. And let's shine Spark up, why don't we? Fill in some of the map. Space jump a bit. I want to fill in the map, let me space jump. Guess I'll have to shine Spark up here too. But then I'm pretty sure you take damage when you hit the 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 non-existent ceiling. I don't know. I guess it's storm clouds or something. I think they've done that before. Like I think it was something like that in Metroid 2. All right. I just got a space jump. Come on. And we have an area we haven't been to before. And what is at the end of this path but another power bomb tank? Now that should hopefully be everything. So when I go back to my ship, uh, I know we have all the energy tanks and reserve tanks and all the normal power ups. But what we should be looking for is 230 missiles, 50 super missiles, and 50 power bomb tanks. If we don't have that, I'm gonna have some research to do. Oh, we're missing a super a super missile tank and a missile tank. Where on earth could those be? And please don't tell me Meridia. Uh, where could those actually be? I don't- I don't have a clue. Aw, oh, man, that... That is a bit upsetting, actually. I just don't know where those could be. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit of research. Because there's no way I'm gonna find it just by wandering around. I really don't think it's in Criteria. I just really don't know. I already got what was back here. I'm definitely going to have to look this up off screen. How am I missing two things? Why? Why? Oh. Why would did I even go this far anyways? I want to go into Criteria, unless it just happens to be in the wrecked ship, but I kind of doubt that. Okay, because there's seriously not, like, just some obvious thing I'm missing on the map, is there? Man, it is really easy to miss this entrance, because it's not marked by anything. Okay. Mm. 
Brinstar map. Do you have anything interesting for me to see? Is there anything at all I could have missed? I'm not seeing anything. Ugh. Alright, well, I guess that's it for this video. In the next video, we will track down those last two items. I may or may not start from this point. But yeah, we will track down those last two items. And hopefully get to the final area of the game. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.